Okay. Am I on? I set the timer for three seconds. And I just seen the shutter close on the last video, so I didn't get, you know, cut me short and cut myself off there. And so this is the second part of uh, the Joe Pipe gasification and where it's going and uh, where I, you know, where I envision it going right away, you know, why wait three months down the road. And as I was saying in the first video, the drill pipe with that little bit of wind pellets is is more than able to generate uh, its own fuel at least about 80 percent with 20 percent being propane and at some point I'd like to see full uh, drill pipe run on, 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 on strictly on the on the wind gas itself and uh, I think what that what's going to do that is Rob Raiders innovation of a, uh, using a, uh, a socket with uh, six copper wires uh, epoxy to it to, uh, to make a like a vortex enhancer uh, a type of swirl device where he was able to uh, generate a very tight fire funnel using a one by ten inch pipe, drill pipe in the uh, vertical position and uh, I'd like to do a talk on this and actually show you a, a blow up of, of this, of how that one little change was able to create an exhaust plume where, you know, if, if, the drill, if, that, if his drill pipe was on the floor, that you'd be able to get your hand this high without burning it. You know, five feet away, your hand would be beginning to burn. And uh, as I was saying that the, in his, in using that vortex generator of, of Rob's here is going to vastly enhance the uh, drill pipe, the, the efficiency, and the by increasing the speed of the vortex. So we are we are actually developing uh, sub-level uh, plasma heat. We're talking extreme heat here. We're talking heat where the exhaust uh, may well reach the uh, melting point of metal. So we're not floating around here. When you got that kind of heat, there's no tar that's going to stand in, in that presence. You know, you're going to have full carbon breakdown. You know, it's going to take long chains of carbon like this and shorten them up. And if there's any water in there, well, that water is going to uh, uh, convert into steam and superheated steam and bond with the carbon. Now you got producer gas. A win-win situation. So you got your drill pipe, you know, and uh, now you want to make a secondary gasifier that can be used for uh, gasification, full gasification, or full pyrolysis, or a combination of gasification and pyrolysis. All right, now how would you do this? In the videos, you'll see that uh, the unused portion of the drill pipe is nice and orange and uh, that inside the gasifier unit is a very very bright orange but the you know you got all this potential here that's not being used okay how do you use it put a plate on the back you know, like a, a mounting bracket right you, you, have, you weld it to the drill plate you can actually use that as the back side of the gasifier okay and uh, you know just make make the, the plate a little bit bigger and you know put in six bolt holes. Uh, be nice to make a gasifier uh, six sided and, you know, unless you've got the, the, the big uh, metal pipe to work with. Next step is you know you got your, your round part of your gasifier 10 inches. 10 inches would be good and inside that you, you put in a, a three inch pipe. So you just weld that up as a unit. So you basically have a, a donut that's expanded, right? You, know, you have a, a hexagonal array uh, where, your, where your wood pellets would go in, your main gas, uh, gasification unit with a three inch pipe going through with a flange. So that pipe would fit onto the back flange of the first drill pipe. Now, 
you take, uh, you need a housing on the front to where you capture the exhaust heat. This is just one of the ways. And this would be a gasification pyrolysis system. So you're not just using the direct heating of the drill pipe, but more importantly, you're taking the, uh, the superheated exhaust, which is around 2,000 degrees, sub-level plasma. And you're bringing that between the first drill pipe, the two inch pipe, and the three inch pipe. And it's going to the back. Now that three inch pipe becomes a super bright orange. So that heat goes to the back, it goes into a manifold in the back that ports a superheated exhaust around the whole exhaust manifold or gasifier. And from there it could be, you know, your gas is fully cracked and you want to begin the process of cooling so you're, you might be down to five, six, seven hundred degrees time the, the superheated exhaust uh, goes back and goes around, maybe more. So from there you could actually plug it into a water funnel to where you cool it right down and you might even be able to use a uh, ammonia water refrigerant with a little bit of hydrogen to uh, freeze flash to super condense the, uh, the wood gas. You have the fuel, why not use it? You've got more fuel than what you need. So you got your heating, you got your cooling. And uh, make use of it. So, you, so the time your wood gas comes out in the final stage, it's room temperature. That's what you're looking for. Just gonna check the time here. I have to keep myself on watch. All right, may may have to make a part three of this. So now you have a secondary gasifier that's putting out. I don't know how many cubic feet per minute. Maybe 500 cubic feet. Maybe 800. Say between 500 and 700 and 50 cubic feet of condensed wood smoke per per minute. And uh, I'm sure that's going to supply enough wood gas volume for a 20 horsepower generator to run, run a 10 kilowatt gen set or electrical generator. And uh, it's probably going to, well, it is going to be the next generation of gasification. Let's face it, the drill pipe is a very efficient tool. And uh, it's been right in front of uh, you know, it's been there all along. It's just, it was so simple, people passed it by. A fire burning inside a pipe it is proving to be a very effective way to heat. In, in fact, it's overkill for a house. Okay, going to cut it short and come back in part three.